Okay, here we are back again with more exciting adventures in the Jade Empire. And I think we're going to go ahead and do our first, uh, we have to fight a guy. <laughs> and uh, my cat is joining us this evening. You know, we have to win a qualifying match against Han the Hapless, Hapless Han? Yeah, Hapless Han. So we're gonna talk. I think we have to talk to this guy again to actually do I the match. I want to hear that you're ready for your next fight. Yes, I am in fact ready for the what fight. What do you need? <laughs> um, kid, tell me about my next for fight. Your first match will start you off against a mighty ogre. I'll be watching your style closely to see how you fare. Impress me, and I'll take you to the top. Even our great champions start out against okay. the ogre. Take Raging Ox, who danced around the beast singing drunkenly to earn the crowd's favor. Or the Ravager, who defeated him in a single blow. Okay. Why don't you take a moment and explain the system we use here? Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, yes, please explain the procedures here, I guess. I like to keep things simple and organized. Any other way and things get more convoltated than the celestial court on the Emperor's birthday. Oh my god. When you're ready for your match, ask me about it and I'll give you a quick summary of your opponent. I'll be setting up your matches, of course. Various enchantments woven in this place keep the fights from being deadly. Okay, but yeah, I know. But they're no real. You'll feel the pain if you don't keep your defense up. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. A new warrior does battle with the beast. Ooh, I look so sparkly. Oh yeah, that was easy. Woo! Woo! That was an impressive beginning! Normally I'd have started you off against something easier, but you practically ooze potential. I'm so glad. You've caught the eyes of the other fighters as well. Go ask them if you don't believe me. That really was a fantastic bout! I'm glad you enjoyed Beating it. Beating the ogre's nothing special. I could have done better bound and blinded. All right, fair enough. Sometimes you don't even need to ask. <laughs> so I see. One fight does not make a champion, though. There are many more opponents ahead of you. Let's move on, shall we? Uh, right. Let's just go on. Let's do the next fight. Since you held your own against the ogre brute last time, I'm going to try something exciting for the crowd. I've got four boys from some school west of the city who've been bothering me for some tougher matches. I'm giving you all of them at once. Yay, four at once. It'll wow the crowd and teach them a lesson at the same time. Remember to watch your sides and back. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Figure I'll just do like all of them in the all of the qualifying matches in Four a row. Four students test their skills against one master. I thought I only took out three. Okay, fine. Those boys won't be back anytime soon. Losing as a group to one opponent would shame a peasant, let alone a student of the martial arts. Uh, okay, so let's go to the next one. The crowd's starting to catch on to you. Have you noticed? People like you, and now I'm going to make sure they pay attention. I'm going to have a roughly hewn statue hauled into the ring. I want you to discontractulate it. Destroy the statue quickly enough. And oh, I'll give for you the a love of God. 
You're not even giving me a real person to fight? Are you Are kidding? Are ready to get started? Ah, <sighs> fine. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Unyielding stone meets the press of time. Oh my god. <sighs> Let's try. Oh, did I do it? Okay. Good. Excellent work. You have bested time itself in destroying that statue. No mean feat, I assure you. I don't know. It's pretty easy. I mean, all right, fine. Well, it, can I get to Hapla? Can I fight Haplaton now? I think you're ready. All to right, face let's Hapleton. do it. Show me you're ready for the big time, and I'll make sure you don't have to dance with the children anymore. Are you ready to get started? Yes, please. Let's do it. <laughs> Excellent. Follow me, and we'll get you ready for your next match. Can Silver Phoenix surpass Hapless Hand and leave the qualifying division? Indeed I can. You dealt with Han very well. I knew you would. All of our professional fighters move past him eventually. Kui, that will be enough. I bring you a message from my employer, Kai Lan the Serpent. He is impressed with how far you have come in such a short while. Oh, good. The Serpent wants you to know that he is watching your progress very closely. He is most interested to see how you fare in the Bronze Division. All righty. Kui. You may breathe again. That is all I had to say. Well, that was good, I think. <laughs> I think neither of us is going to die today, is what he meant. Tell me more about Kyla and the Serpent. He has a distinct interest in the proceedings here. He is an ex-champion, you see. He retired some time ago, even before Raging Ox, who was the champion before the Ravager. Kylon couldn't leave the arena alone, though. He has become a very important man here with the help of a group called the Guild. Sounds shady. Why would it, why do you let Lucky Cho push you around, Kui? Lucky Cho is a thug, pure and simple, but he's very good at what he does. He is also a member of the Guild and reports directly to Kai Lan. Kai Lan oversees things here in the arena, and the Guild ensures that the authorities leave us in peace. Okay, enough about what Lucky Cho said. Can you tell me more about the Guild? The Guild is the organization that controls all of the betting in this place. That gives them considerable sway. It is good that they are happy with your progress. I see, I see. Between us, the Guild is also involved in more illicit activities. Yeah, I could have called that they a mile away. They are very sensitive about remaining an open secret. Many know about them, but few acknowledge that fact. Right now is a particularly dangerous time, as one of the leaders of the guild has recently been inhumed. Kailan sees what? this as an opportunity. Do not discuss them openly. The guild has many ears. But you may you're ask discussing some of the them openly. In the arena about them if you wish, but I would not bring it up to just anyone. Okay. I'll be careful who I talk to. A wise decision. Very wise. For the sake of your career, I suggest that you limit any questions you have to your fellow fighters. Well done! That fight was much better than this wine. I'm glad you enjoyed With it. all the pure water pouring from the palace, you'd think they might have learned how to make wine that didn't taste like goat piss. Black Whirlwind, that is you. Are you back to... 
No, just here visiting and making sure nothing happens to your newest fighter. I appreciate that, sir. I don't so know that you I need your be... help, but that's okay. No, leave it alone, Kui. You know better than to bring this up. Just mind your business, promoter, and I'll mind mine. Interesting. I'm gonna have to talk to him about this he, later. Uh, you travel in curious company. Regardless, when you're ready, come talk to me again and we'll discuss your next match. Fair enough. Um, hold on, Kui. How do you know you how do you know the Black World Hen? I know him, yes, but I know better than to contravigate his wishes. If you want to talk about it, ask him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. Uh, I will ask him. What do you need? I'm... Wow, okay. Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna say there's nothing else I need from you, Queen. Do not be gone too long. Kana may well rise to become the Silver Division champion while you're away. That's okay, I can probably beat her too. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. Um, I'll probably need to go talk to, uh, Black Whirlwind. Um, let's see if Hapless Han has anything to say now, and anything new to say now that I've beaten Boy, his ass. that sure was something. Well, I wouldn't have wanted to be me out there, except that I was. But I learned so much from facing you. Next I'm time glad. I should try some of that fancy stuff you do. I'm not exactly sure how you did it, though. That's uh, okay. You don't need to. Uh, pay attention when you fight. Make the enemy's moves your own. You know, that's a good idea. I tend to focus on myself more than others. Perhaps I can learn some new tricks. Thanks for the encouragement. Anytime, friend. Anytime. Do you know anything about a guild? All the contestants know about the guild. They are the real power here. Keep your voice low. We don't want Lucky Cho to hear us talking about this. Uh, what does the guild do exactly? I've heard from some of the others that they sometimes ask fighters to throw matches, or worse. Aha. Uh -huh. It may not actually be that bad, but I always advise new fighters to be careful, just in case. Uh, who's in charge of the guild? I don't know about the guild itself, but around here the man in charge is named Kai Lan the Serpent. Right, okay. He's a powerful magician and incredibly deadly in battle. Oh, uh, magician, huh? imperial champion, in fact. I never have to deal with Kai Lan. I'm not good enough to compete with the big players, so he isn't interested in me. I prefer it that way. How can they operate so openly? It's not that open, but Lucky Cho and Kai Lan don't bother to hide their actions much. I wonder if the rest of the guild appreciates them being that open. As to why the Empire tolerates them, I know of at least one promising fighter who went off to join the Lotus Assassins not too long ago. As we are planning to do. I see, I see. It was like see. they recruited him after seeing what he could do here. Yeah. Maybe there's some arrangement that makes the Lotus Assassins overlook this place. Uh, okay, that's all I need from it's you. It's always nice of you to stop by and chat. A lot of people who move past me in the arena never look back. Oh, that's okay. I'll be your friend, hapless Han. Uh, who should we talk to next? Let's talk to... See if Iron Soldier will talk you to us. You look a shade better than the usual cowardly dogs we get through here. Just a shade, though. I'm a little more than that. So you've earned the right to talk to me. Lucky you. <laughs> oh, yay. Iron Soldier's the name, though everyone just calls me Soldier. You may as well do the same. Okay. You ground the hapless one beneath your feet like everyone else does, huh? Han's pathetic for wasting time on the hopefuls, if you ask me. Then again, watching Han stumble to Dr. On every time he tries to handle the real Bronze Division fights is one of the most entertaining things about this place. Yeah, that sounds not very fun, actually. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. I don't pay attention to the Bronze Division. Who has time for all the hopefuls and their empty dreams? Now go on and leave me alone. We've got nothing to talk about. Great. Cheery. I'll talk to you later, soldier. Good. Go bother someone else. Okay. Pretty Lily. I hate the constant push of the crowds, don't you? At least I'll be gone from here soon. That's why I cheer for Iron Soldier. He sneers at the crowds, the fighters, even the system, and none of them can defeat him. 
Kupki tir sanir naur kurk. If you want to talk about the arena, you should talk to Soldier and not me. I try to stay clear of the other fighters. Tell me about yourself. I keep an eye on things for Soldier, see? I even help him train and work out any tension he might be feeling after a fight. What sort of things to keep an eye on? New fighters, like yourself. I also try to keep tabs on what Kyla and the Serpent and his goon Lucky Cho are up to. What can you tell me about Kyla and the Serpent? He's not, he's no one to worry yourself about. You're not important enough to catch his gaze, and if you're smart, you'll keep it that way. Tell me more about Lucky Cho. People talk to Lucky Cho if they want to bet big on one of the fights. He won't take silver from you if you're a fighter or he doesn't know you very well, however. Cho collects on his bets the hardest way possible. It's a bad idea to cross him. Feel free to test his patience if you don't believe me. Um, can we talk about you and Soldier again? Um... How do you help soldier train? I help him any way he needs me to. I'm even starting to learn some of his styles, though I'm a long way from his skill. Not many can match him. Uh, soldier suffers from a lot of tension, does he? <laughs> Let's say that my treatment methods are more unorthodox than Dr. An's, but lo- no less effective. They're also much more enjoyable for us both. Yeah, clearly there's a lot of sex going on here. All right, let's change the subject. <laughs> uh, I should get back to what I was doing. Fair enough. Uh, Crimson Kana, hey there. Oh, good. Greetings, I am Crimson Kana, known in the prosperous East for my swordsmanship. I came here to test my abilities, but have found my will and purity of spirit tested as well. You will start to see the truth of this contest as you make your way through the bronze round. Let your conscience guide you. That is all the advice I can offer. Uh, let's see... You clearly dislike this place. Why not just leave? Mind, spirit, and body must all be tested. You can achieve peace in a garden, but you earn it on the battlefield. Goals reached without trial are not so easily kept. That makes a certain kind of sense. Many philosophies agree with me. Many do not. The ensuing debates are no less a field of battle than this one. Not all battles are fought with weapons. Okay. Uh, Lucky Cho mentioned the guild. I need to know your thoughts on them. The guild has made this pl- a place of spiritual trials. Kyla and the Serpent heads their activities here. It is but one part of their larger operation, but their practices disgust me. What can you tell me about the Serpent? Yeah, he's the real power behind Kui, Lucky Cho, and all the rest. He bends the fighters to his will, but I will not be his puppet. The serpent will never guide my sword. Uh, what role does the guild play? <clears throat> Kailan's thugs are but a portion of the larger guild, fixing fights and adjusting the odds in their favor. There are rumors of extortion and worse, but it's best not to speak of it. Why does the Empire put up with the guild? Dishonor exists everywhere. The guild exists in an uneasy truce with the officials, and a steady stream of bribes aids the relationship, from what I hear. Others say the arena recruits for the Lotus Assassins, and it is a theory worth considering. Does my blade somehow aid these assassins that threaten my homeland? I pray not. Uh, let's talk about something else. Good. It is a sensitive subject, particularly in this place. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I have some questions about the fighters here in the arena. At this point in your career, the higher-ranking fighters will tell you about themselves. Still, you must see a thing from many angles to truly know it. I can tell you about myself, of course, and I know Hapless Han relatively well. I could also tell you something of the beasts that they have here. 
I'd like to hear about you, Kana. I am from Phoenix Gate, the largest city in the prosperous east. There I developed my own techniques of weapon combat. I have vowed to teach them to anyone who can best me. Why have you come here specifically? Every city has its masters. I came here to c compete against the Empire's best, and I have managed to hold my own. Is there anyone else you wish to ask about? Tell me about Hapless Han. Oh, no, you were in Han. Soon we are Han's up. intriguing. Oh, no, While his skill you. is small, he shows no envy and learns from every encounter. I wonder if he stays in the qualifier so he can face every new fighter. You think he throws fights? It's hard to say with him. Perhaps his smile is that of the full and satisfied tiger. Not vacant, as the others believe. Is there anyone else you want to know about? Uh, what can you tell me about the beasts? Well, if we are a number of different creatures are used here to add to the spectacle. Ogres are commonplace, but more recently some sort of subhuman creature has been appearing in the ring. I've heard rumors, though, that the arena organizers are planning on bringing demons into the ring somehow. I suppose we'll see in time if there's any truth to that. Okay, uh, I think that's all I want to ask you for now. Thanks, Crimson Kana. Um, okay, uh, so I think we're about at time, and maybe in the next episode, I think in the next episode I might go back, turn in the Inquisitor's quest, and talk to my followers again. Um, just because, I don't know, I feel like I haven't talked to my followers in a while, and I want to... So, we'll probably do that. Um, so yeah, as always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next episode. Later!